What's up guys and welcome back to another video of As Always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. So in this video guys I made a herbal hair growth spray and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and we're also going to be using this spray in the video. So if you are somebody who is struggling to grow their hair or just wants longer thicker healthier hair then this video is definitely for you. Anybody can make this at home and use this recipe to grow the hair so if you're interested stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. First up is fenugreek seed, which prevents hair loss. It contains lethargen, which plays as a natural emollient. All that means is it has the quality to soothe and soften hair. Fenugreek seed will also penetrate the hair shaft to deeply condition, fight dandruff, and control scalp inflammation. Hazel is known as a miracle cure for hair because of its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. It will prevent hair loss, dry scalp, and early graying. Nettle is a leaf, not only only does it help in combating hair loss, it also helps in hair regrowth. Nettle is rich in silica and sulfur. It's a good source of antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. Cloves are dried flowers of a clove tree. This has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Cloves are known to improve blood circulation and strengthen the scalp. Plus, it smells really good. Rosemary is an herb that has a number of healing properties. It helps with blood circulation to the scalp, which will grow hair. It also helps balance the pH on your scalp with its antifungal properties. Mint is one of the highest sources of carotene, which protects the body from damaging molecules. Mint promotes hair growth and prevents excessive hair fall. We'll be using all of these ingredients to make our healthy hair growth herbal spray. You'll also need a few more things. I'm going to be using a spray bottle, but you get whatever your heart desires. Now let's go ahead and get started with making our mixture. I filled up my spray bottles with water and that's what I'm using to measure because this is going to evaporate a little bit I added a little bit more water into the mixture now I do have the pot on a medium because I wanted to start to boil while the water's heating up I went ahead and just added all of my ingredients into that pot once all your ingredients are added to your pot of water go ahead and start to give it a good mix so everything can start to intertwine and your house is going to smell so good so now I'm just going to cover it with a lid and let it continue to boil. Once it's at a boil, I cut the water off. That is very important. I don't want to cook the ingredients. I just want them to kind of simmer. So again, once the water is boiling, go ahead and cut it off completely and just allow it to cool on the stove. It's going to sit there and cool for a few hours. And while it does, I'm going to prep for the next step, which is converting it into a mason jar. Okay, so I do apologize. I did not record myself transferring the mixture into a mason jar, but I did let it sit for 24 hours and this is how we are looking and now I'm going to go ahead and just drain it because I don't want any of the ingredients in the mixture I just want the liquid so I'm going to go ahead and do a separation process by straining it and you can see how much of the color has changed all right so let's go ahead and start to fill up our spray bottles now I have two here because I got a lot of hair but you guys make as much or as little as you need now I do have a funnel because I need this to be as clean as possible I was honestly so nervous pouring it but it turned out fine I didn't spill any whatsoever and remember when I told you guys to use extra water when you're making your mixture this is why because I didn't even have enough to fill up the second spray bottle even though I added more water than I needed the water definitely will evaporate but that is how we make our mixture it smells good it looks good and now you guys are going to see me apply this to my hair so if this was helpful make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe and let's move on to the application process. Okay guys, so you got to see firsthand what ingredients I used. I talked a little bit about each ingredient and how it can truly help your hair grow. I guarantee that these ingredients will help you because they came from mother nature. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and break down my hair. I'm gonna be focusing this hair growth spray on my scalp and then we'll also put it on my hair as well. So in order to be able to get to my scalp, I have to section my hair off into smaller sections because your girl got a lot of hair. So let me go ahead and just start to break it down. Now I'm not going for the perfect parts or anything. I just really want to be able to get to my scalp. So let's go ahead and break my hair down into sections. 
taking you in this moment Come get close like you all night Read your aura, you want more of all this love you'll be your name Release all of your burdens It's been me, you'll be searching Take a load off and your clothes off Just relax, you deserve it Okay, so I went ahead and completed the back side. It feels really good because I had it stored in the refrigerator, so it's like cold on my scalp, and it's like a nice hot day, so it feels really good on my scalp. Index finger and my thumb are like starting to hurt, so what I am gonna do is switch this product over to a continuous spray bottle. I thought this would be easier because I wanted to target my scalp, but my finger hurt. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that. All right, so go ahead and take your cap off, and we're gonna switch it over. Okay, this way I won't have to worry about my finger hurting. Okay, that's that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the front. <laughs> So between these both bottles, they both have some similarities and differences. To so talk about the similarities, they both spray pretty evenly for the most part. However, I do have a one that I prefer over the other, and that is this one. Even though it makes my hands hurt, I just like the way it squirts out a whole lot better. This is more of like a mist, and this is more of like you can really feel it on your scalp but it's definitely personal preference this just hits a little bit harder for me why this one is just a light miss so i'm going to continue to use this one because uh, my finger hurts when i use this one unfortunately and I, I don't i don't want that so we're gonna have to go with the miss even though i would prefer this one because i like how much product comes out when you squirt it over the continuous spray bottle so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and hop on to the other side to answer a few questions you brought you guys probably have is how does it smell it's it smells earthy. It smells earthy because of the ingredients that I use, but it doesn't stink. In my opinion, it does not stink. I should have already let you guys know if I haven't by now that I do store the product up for two weeks in the refrigerator. Do not leave it out or it will spoil or um, ferment. We don't want that, so. Whew. Okay, so here's the next side, y'all. You got all the hair, honey. I'll continue to answer your questions. And if you, I didn't answer your question, just drop it below and I'll answer it for you guys. So let's go ahead and continue on with this side. <laughs> So this is how we are looking. My hair is pretty damp and now we have to go ahead and style it. This is not to be washed out either. I am surprised how much product I use. I think I would have used less product if I would have kept it in the other bottle. But since this was a continuous spray bottle, you're going to use the product a whole lot faster. There's definitely ups and downs when it comes to the perfect spray bottle to use for your herbal hair, hair growth spray. So if you guys want to actually see how I style my hair make sure you tune in for the next video I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some rollers in my hair and since I'm using so much I'll probably only apply this twice a week if you guys want to see more of this herbal hair growth spray journey and how it turns out make sure you guys keep watching I'll do an updated video in maybe like three or four weeks just to let you guys know how it's going but so far so good it feels great on my scalp I'm happy and I'm learning so if you guys want to grow your hair make sure you go out and 
and get the ingredients I'll have everything linked below where I got mine from so you can get yours too and hopefully you see results just like me and also make sure that you guys give me a follow if you don't know my name is Aaliyah and I do healthy hair growth content and I love showing people how I style my hair using zero heat and how I do all these DIY and homemade products to grow my hair so again if that is something that you're interested in stick around and follow me but without further ado I am gonna let you guys go my name is Aaliyah this is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real I'll catch y'all the next one deuces Oh,